Hi guys! My bathroom drawers have become cluttered and full of old product, making it impossible to find the stuff I actually do want to use. So today I'm going to show you how I organized it all and what you can do with the stuff you don't want. I'm Laura and as a former makeup artist, I love sharing easy style and beauty tips that help moms feel their best. First, I went through all my drawers to assess the situation. I realized the stuff I really wanted to use wasn't accessible because I had way too much old stuff in there. Simple patches in the hair drawer, perfect spot. Oh look, I have this drawer organized that I don't even use. And we've got a creepy doll. So my goal was to make everything a little more accessible. Next, I went drawer to drawer and separated everything into four piles. The first pile was for anything that did not belong in the bathroom. Some of it was kind of weird. Okay, Boo Boo's poo bags do not belong in my bathroom. They're going in the non-bathroom bin. I've got some change. Nothing. The second pile was for keepers. I need a bigger keep bin. I have too much stuff I want to keep. Check this out. This gets rid of my acne. That's pretty cool. When it came to makeup and skincare products, I made sure that it wasn't expired first. All right, so I have tons of the same face wash. Really old, like years old. Most makeup products have this little symbol on the label that'll tell you how long they'll last for. Stuff that was expired or empty went into a third pile to recycle. And finally, I noticed I had a ton of product I tried and I didn't love, so those went into the donate pile. Now it's time to put away the keepers, so I bought a few drawer organizers to help. For the makeup drawer, I organized everything by type. So like mascaras and eyeliners, my brushes, and concealers and highlighters. This way I can see everything I have and it prevents me from keeping the empties. Then I moved that empty drawer organizer I found to the top drawer for all my everyday things like toothpaste, hair accessories, and face wash. My five practically empty face washes turned into three full jars of these. For the hair drawer, I got some drawer dividers to make it look nice and clean. I split this last drawer between the girls' bath toys, yes, the doll gets to stay, and a bin for any future empty products. And finally, the counter. I transferred everything into this new organizer, which forces me not to pile it all on top of each other and also makes everything more accessible. And finally, the donations and recyclables. I shipped anything that was like new or barely used to an organization called Project Beauty Share. They collect makeup and beauty products for women overcoming abuse and poverty. And then I cleaned out my empty or expired products to recycle, but because most of these did not have the stamped triangle noting what kind of plastic it was, it was hard to know what I could recycle locally. I found this awesome website, TerraCycle, that has different recycling programs for all kinds of waste, and you can just ship it to them for free. And these old brushes are now new paint brushes for the kids. So one last time, let's look at the befores and the afters. It's so much easier to find what I need now. I'm inspired to try new products I didn't even know I had, and it just looks so much nicer. Okay, I hope this motivates you to go through all your products and organize them. It was totally worth it, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.